This morning as I was praying, I was praying over these first words of the gospel. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. So Jesus is giving us a peace that's deeper, that's more long-lasting than that of the world. And so I started asking myself, why then do I not just run after that peace? Why do I so often compromise with the world? Why is it that I'm not just seeking after that? Because that's what I want, right? We all want that peace. Peace that isn't just a lack of disturbance, but is a positive moving effect in our lives. I'm not sure I came up with a a full answer to that question. Of course, we all have mixed motives for all the different things we, we do, and it's the whole concupiscence thing and original sin. But certainly, Paul's words in the first reading today have something to do with it. It is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. It's so much easier not to have to deal with those hardships. There'll be other hardships, of course, but in the short term, it's easier to say, you know, I'll I'll forego that peace for this foregoing of hardship. The Lord says to us, there's so much more I have in store for you. I have so much planned for you. I want you to be so great. And I have this peace in store for you, but... Too often what happens, we try to avoid those hardships. We end up making it worse for ourselves, and we we know we do. At least I do. And yet, and yet, the short term so often wins out over the long term. The Lord is inviting us today to look and say, Will you allow my long-term plan for you? for true peace, for lasting peace, for deep peace, for the goodness and the love that I have for you, win out over the short-term struggles that you have. 